Let's look at Retirement of Assets. SAP gives you the option to retire assets or retirement of assets and you can use this transaction when you want to dispose of an asset. So why would you want to dispose of an asset? For example, an asset might run its end of useful life. If you had bought a computer laptop and after about 3 years or even 5 years you might feel the laptop is no longer functioning well or it is getting some damaged or the processes are becoming very slow then you might want to buy a new laptop so then you can dispose of this laptop. Like this you can buy any other type of asset. Every asset will have some kind of a useful life. Unless it's something like land where you can actually use it forever but other than that all the other type of assets will have a end of useful life. And you can actually return asset if it's not working. Sometimes an asset can get damaged. Let's say for example you might have a chair. It's an asset for you. It's a something under the fi fixtures or even furniture category and the chair might get broken. Then you might have to dispose of it fully. So that's a way of disposing of an asset. So it can get damaged. Sometimes an asset can get lost also. For example a laptop you bought as an asset it might get lost or stolen. So then again you have to perform the asset retirement transaction. So what are the various ways of posting retirement of assets in SAP? These are the, it can be broken down into three main categories. You can post it with or without revenue. So sometimes when you sell an asset, you might get a second hand market for that particular asset. So you actually sell it with some kind of a revenue. For example, you might buy a laptop and after two years you will probably say feeling that no, you want to get a more faster functioning laptop. So you want to sell this laptop. And there are still, you can always sell this laptop with some revenue. You can always sell it with some revenue. Of course, you won't be able to get the original price which you paid for the laptop, but you can still get some reasonable amount for that laptop. Similarly for vehicles, maybe you might acquire a brand new vehicle and after using for about three years, you can sell it as a second hand vehicle. That's optional with or without revenue. Sometimes one asset when you dispose, you will not get any revenue at all. You can also sell it with or without a customer. So sometimes you might actually sell it to a customer. For example, if you sell an item with some kind of a revenue, you can usually sell it to a customer. And if you're actually selling it without a customer, most probably that means you're not going to get any revenue coming in. That means you're actually uh, you're just going to dispose of it. There's also a disposing of the asset full or partial. So sometimes you might dispose of the asset fully and sometimes you can do partial retirement of an asset. For example, let's say you're having a building and the building has a few uh, like side-by-side -side buildings and you're actually owning the full whole of that building and you're only selling a part of that building building to a customer. So that can be a partial retirement of that asset and you'll be creating a new asset for the, new, the uh, one side of the building which you own. Another example is you might have a large piece of land as an asset and you might want to sell off 60% of that land to a customer or to any other person and you will feel and you want to retain 40% of that land for yourself. So that also can be a partial retirement of an asset. Now let's look at these asset transactions in SAP. Now let's look at some asset retirement transactions. Now before we proceed with the SAP menu that is your general transactions, we need to ensure that the configuration is in place. That is, all the relevant GL accounts are created and assigned to the relevant account determination which is linked to your asset class. Let's look at that in more detail. So I'm going to open a new session. Okay, I'm going to open up here. Short transaction code, as you know, is A0, A090. Keyboard. That brings you to a chart of depreciation which is ZAU1. My chart of accounts is ZCOA. So I'm going to select that. Go to my account determination. <coughs> select my account determination which is fixtures and fittings. Then click on balance sheet accounts. Now you can see this is all related to the acquisition side which we saw early in our presentation. Any entries you're going to do with acquisitions, make sure you enter all the GL accounts relevant to that. In this presentation, we are going to concentrate on retirement. So any retirement related transactions, you need to ensure all the GL accounts are filled over here. <coughs> so let's create a GL account. So you can already see we have already defined loss made on asset require retirement without revenue. We have already defined a GL account. Now let's de define GL accounts for clearing accounts. That is clearing account revenue from asset sale. 
So we need to